In this video, I discussed the ugly phase in my reef tank and how I defeated it. It all began after one year of setting up my reef tank when I started to notice green hair algae and some kind of dinoflagellates on the sandbed. The problem was that I had zero phosphate for a long time. As you can see, the rocks are covered with green hair algae and some dinoflagellates over some parts of the sandbed. I thought it might go away over time if I let it be, but it was getting worse. I also had a UV installed already in my system, but it didn't help at all. I use a red CDC skimmer 300, reef mat 500, and a refugium with keto in my sump. The green hair algae were growing everywhere, making it hard for corals to grow. And the dinoflagellates over the sandbed were getting thicker. This type of dinoflagellate won't be affected by a UV sterilizer. It does disappear a bit at night, but it stays on the sandbed. I started by dealing with the green hair algae first, hoping to raise my phosphate levels, which might also get rid of the dinoflagellates. I used Blue Life Flux RX, and most of the green hair algae started to disappear and turn white. Here's how it looked after Flux RX. I turned off the refugium during the Flux RX treatment to raise the phosphate level. I added three sea urchins after Flux RX to keep the algae under control and prevent it from coming back. But the dinoflagellates were still visible over the sandbed. This is when I started cleaning the sand every day without a water change to remove as much of the dinoflagellates as possible from the display tank. I also raised the temperature to 82.4F. The sand bed here looks clean because I was cleaning it every day. But dinoflagellates still kept coming back. I added AF Life Source as a buffer to enhance microbiology in saltwater aquariums. And I heard it might help with dinoflagellates. The appearance of the dinoflagellates looked much better than before. But the problem was still there. This is when I started my first dose of Funamarin Red Axe, as it claims it can help against mild dinoflagellate infestations. Here is where I stopped cleaning the sand and let Red X do its thing. I didn't want to use Dino X because I heard it has negative effects on invertebrates and should only be used when dinoflagellates are out of control. As you can see, the sandbed is getting cleaner day after day.
The last day of treatment is over, and the sand bed looks clean as new. Here are some footage under white lighting. Hope that helps you defeat the uglies in your reef tank. It took me three months to defeat dinoflagellates. I hope they won't come back. I'm considering using Fauna Marin Rebiotic to restore bacterial stability in saltwater aquariums. Thanks for watching.